All right, good afternoon, members. Let's call this meeting to order. We have one bill to hear today. It's the substitute to House Bill 202, which is LC 297466S. Our sponsor, Chairman Powell, would you like to come forward and explain your bill? You want to do it there? Is that your button number six? I, I can, but. Okay. It does two things. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, first of all, it changes the governor's salary to $175,000. And the second thing it does is reactivate a commission that already exists in the state of Georgia, but that has been in an act, inactive for it to look at and make recommendations regarding constitutional officer salaries and for also legislative salaries. And the reason for both of these are is that number one, our current governor is term limited, so in two years, he will be leaving office. But there has been some discussion in the news media, there have been discussion among legislators that the CEO of a state the size of Georgia that has a $25 billion budget and thousands of employees and a governor that is responsible for the administration of that budget and for the overseeing of those employees and responding to disasters and economic development within the state is making less than the manager in a small corporation and that that's just not, it, it doesn't pass the smell test. But the bill basically says, so it does not benefit any sitting officer that it does not take effect until after this governor leaves office so that it's not to be seen as benefiting any one particular person, but that it is a statement of policy that uh, the, the governor of the state of Georgia should be paid commensurate with what governors in other states are being paid. And according to the information I've looked at, this puts us in the mainstream if we were to do that. The second part of the bill, which is the commission, is that anything that we do for, for constitutional officers or regarding legislative salaries in a, in a vacuum where we do not have any kind of recommendations, comparison studies or anything else uh, would always be seen as some kind of self-serving -ser action. But at the same time, we wanna make sure that we attract qualified people to run for these offices but that we do not overpay people at the same time because it is a public service job. And so the, the purpose of the commission is to reactivate something that is already in effect and to uh, have these people do a study and make recommendations back to the legislature regarding salaries of constitutional officers and legislative officers. Members, do you have any questions? You have one question. All right, Chairman Martin. I'm sitting next to the gentleman. I feel kind of uh, silly talking into the microphone, but in case you can't hear me, sir. Um, just on, on line 11, is, is it not true that the governor's salary is now more? It, we're changing from 60 to 175. I believe because of the, it has a CPI built in, the governor is making more than 60. So, so it's around 135 or 137, I think. I just think that for, for those that look and think it, it, it goes more to what Chairman Paul said, that it, it's not a almost three times increase because of CPI, it's gone up, but it is probably um, not quite as, uh, not quite in line with where it ought to be. So just, just to point, point that out on there. And, and it's not true also that we're, uh, I was concerned about the, the commission, but as you said, we're actually not creating commission, we're activating one, and we're also reducing the number of members on it. So. We, we're, we've cut that back based on the, the years of, ago that it, it did exist, and with all the modern technology they've got to do salary comparisons, they don't need as many people to do that. That is right. Sorry. Chairman Parsons, do you have a question? That was the question. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Discussion? Anything? So I have a motion to pass and a second. All in favor say aye. Those opposed like sign. Thank you. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, Madam Chair.